Good morning. This is Krissa McGillis from Crafts by Krissa. And today I am up at my property in Duchesne, Utah, loving life, getting away. And I'm looking out the window and I'm seeing my sandstone and the green of pine and old trees. Um, and it's kind of cloudy, but I'm not going to make it that bad, I hope. But I thought I would do that um, with pour painting. I've never tried this. Well, I did actually just do one, a larger one, but the video didn't work. So we're going to try it again. So what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to start with the, the ground and the greens and the sky. And then I'm going to try to put a tree with branches in the foreground. So let's start with the sky. I'm going to start with start with some blue and you can find me on Facebook you can find me on uh, Etsy some products I do a lot of vintage things also and a little purple in there now some of these colors I've used before and so they've been um, they have silicone in them, so that might be an interesting twist. Let's get the oh, come on, I hope I have enough. I hope I have enough. I do. Didn't expect to make two. This one is a four by six because that isn't. I didn't have another eight by ten. I wanted to use. All right, fine. We'll add some white. Make it a little brighter sky. Okay. Now we'll do some green for the mountains. I remember, I don't need quite as much. because it's such a small painting. Okay. And now we have some browns for my sandstone. Some other rock features. Okay, so let's pour get this going. No, oh, I don't want to lose all my rock. I wish I had more of that light blue. Darn it. pretty abstract sky. Okay, now I don't like that my rocks went way up there. So we're going to add some more. In there. Add some more dark green. green and I'm wasting a lot of paint with this I realize Let's bring that back down okay so it's kind of a wild I think the tree is going to cover up some of that wildness my abstract sky. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to take my darker brown 
and I'm just going to go along the edge then I need to have branches I think I mucked it up. All right, let's get my where's my spatula thing. I'm using the spatula thing to try to fix my just totally mucked up branches. Let's see if we can drag it back over. It is abstract, I'll give you that. Maybe highlight a few different branches. Oh, I'm not liking this one at all. Uh, but I'll show it because that's the way life is. the greens a little bit. Looks like I need a little brown right there. So one thing I did, I came up here and I had all the paints that I have been using in the cups, which some browns and stuff. And then I uh, I forgot all my paints. But I had gone to the store and I had bought the primary colors in black and white. So I've been learning how to um, relearning, excuse me, I've learned it. Um, relearning how to mix colors to mix the green and the purple and should be interesting. Now the family's coming up this weekend and so maybe I'll have them grab them. I plan to stay up here a few weeks. Yeah, see I'm not liking this at all. No, I'm mucking with it too much, I bet. Because that's supposed to be sandstone and rock. Now that I don't mind too much. Way too abstract for me. But, we'll see what happens when it dries. I was going to add green leaves, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to waste it. Alright. Again, I am on Etsy. This is Crafts by Krissa, and I'm on Etsy, Facebook, and Instagram. You can find many of my products at Oliver and Nata Princess Natasha's in Salt Lake City, Vintage and Boutique. Um, you can find products on Etsy, mostly vintage, kitchen gadgets. And uh, please like, thumbs up, and uh, subscribe. After it dried, I liked it. 
So you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Cross by Krissa. And thanks for watching.